Because at one point, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't know what to think of this. At one point, they were saying Fedor Elman, however you say his last name, Elmanenko. Emilienko. Yeah, yeah Emilienko uh, was the yeah. baddest man on the planet or whatever. What do you think of him at that point in time? Because he eventually came and, and fought some um, UFC fighters. He took some losses, like he lost to Dan Henderson and a couple other people. But at that point in time, do you really think he was the best in the world at um, whatever weight class? Or was it because he just, like, let's compare it to the NBA. He was, like, overseas, and he just didn't play in the NBA yet. So we couldn't really tell. Well, I think the comparison to this was, uh, like, the same thing in boxing where they padded people's records, you know? And guys were, like, uh, you know, 48 nose heavyweights. You never heard anybody they ever uh, fought before. Well, Emilian, it was the same way. He fought a lot of guys in Japan that were – weren't the best in the world. There are Japanese guys who are a lot smaller sometimes or guys that uh, he was the better fighter. Hey, don't get me wrong. He, he's a vicious fighter. But as far as calling him one of the best ever, no. He, he never competed against, against the best ever. You know, guys like uh, Randy Couture, he was the best ever at his time because he was beating heavyweights and light heavyweights. I mean, he took my belt from me. Um, right. But you just, uh, I think, in general, you watch how guys compete against others uh, here on, in mainland uh, United States compared to competing against guys in Japan. There's there's a big, big difference because um, guys here are very, very competitive here in the United States. The cream of the crop comes to the UFC, and that's why we were always there because that's where the best guys fought. Yeah, definitely agree. And I, I took that stance like as you, like he just hasn't fought – these guys over here, like the best of the best. Like he was fighting good fighters, but I don't right. think they were like elite fighters like you guys. No. Yeah. Yeah. No, and, and, and don't get I mean, don't get me confused. I mean, he was a great fighter. I mean, he still is. I mean, you know, he still competes. He is a great fighter, but uh there was always someone a little bit better at heavyweight, you know. And I think UFC always uh held those guys along with uh, Randy Couture, you know, as I look back on it. I mean, those are some of the best heavyweights ever. Thank you for watching. Click thumbs up if you liked our video and remember to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you could be notified when we are streaming our interviews live so you can super chat your questions and get them included in our premium content.